About a week and a half ago, I was pumping gas at a Chevron, which is already depressing enough. And then I see a lady pushing her own car. Now, she was fully capable. She was like 350, 400 pounds. She was built like a fucking refrigerator. All she had to do was lean on it. But I'm a Christian. I've got a lot of bad juju on my side, so I'm like, this would be a good way to reciprocate some of that. So I was like, ma'am, do you need some help? She say, hell yes. So I go over to help her. This bitch jumps in the driver's seat to steer. Now I'm pushing two fucking cars. I was like, ma'am, could you hang your leg out at least, please? Jesus Christ, I'm just a man here. I'm not a superhero. Well, this other guy comes running up, and he starts helping me push. I thought we were just pushing her out of the road. We keep pushing and pushing and pushing. She's like, a little bit further, a little bit further. I finally was like, hey, where are we going? She said, over there to Arby's. I said, you want us to push you through the motherfucking drive through She's like, no, baby, I just want you to push me under that shade tree over there in the parking lot. It's hot right here. I want to move over there now. I want to live there. I was like, live there? You can't live in Arby's. It's we have the meats, not we have the sweets, bitch. You can't live in Arby's. Also, that's like two blocks away. I don't do cardio. I'm not that strong. I, I don't even do CrossFit. I need the power of God on my side. Can you let me pray for a minute? So I try to push up under this tree, and it's uphill. It's hot outside. It's hard, okay? So I was like, ma'am, can you maybe, like, get out and help us push a little bit? She's like, bitch, I'm homeless. I was like, all right, maybe. I'm not saying you're not homeless, but, like, you're 400 pounds, okay? You ain't been homeless long. Okay? You ain't been homeless long. We finally get her pushed up under the tree, and I start smelling what animals. And I look in the back, and I swear to God, there's like 19 cats in the back. 19 cats in the back. She's saving more stray pussy than Plan B out here. I swear to God, like a fucking ASPCA commercial on wheels. I said, where the hell is Sarah McLaughlin when you need her? I said, what are you doing with all these cats? She said, those are my friends. And she had this t-shirt on with these short shorts underneath with her cooter cat hanging out the bottom. And I was like, how the hell are you taking such good care of these cats when your shit smells rurt? I'm allergic to cats. I started, my shit, I was like, I couldn't breathe, man. I was like, ma'am, I'm sorry, I gotta go. My shit's starting to swell up. She said, well, pull it out then. I said, I'm not, I'm not talking about my penis. Nothing about you is gonna make the blood rush to my penis. Okay. So I left her ass under that tree. I went through Arby's today. She's still there. I get up there to the window. The lady's trying to sell me a burger. Arby sells burgers now. I'm like, what the fuck? She's like, that's crazy, ain't it? I was like, no. What's crazy is you got a bitch living in the parking lot with 40 fucking cats in there. Did you know that? Is her mail coming here? And they're like, you want horsey sauce? I said, yes. <laughs>